What's going on everybody? Jacob here, Miami Dolphins Syndicate. Let me know if this is something that you had on your bingo card. OJ McDuffie beefing with Dolphins fans all over Twitter. Legendary wide receiver for the team OJ McDuffie has gotten tired of some of the cynical and negative comments that he sees uh, by Dolphins fans on Twitter. And today started beating, beefing with some fans. This is not something that I expected to, to wake up and see. Uh, and, and before I get into it, just letting y'all know and, and showing y'all the tweets. Uh, I do understand both sides of this argument. From a fan perspective, fans have gotten a little sour with the team. I've, I was born in 2000. Uh, there was only been one playoff win in my entire lifetime back in 2001 when I was like, what, 10, 11 months old. It, it's, been, it's been a hard time being a Dolphins fan, and I have definitely found myself being in this cynical nature when it comes to the team where it just feels like negativity after negativity, uh, just let down after let down. And so I've definitely been in the shoes of these fans and sometimes still find myself getting in there. But then also somebody looking at it from uh, OJ McDuffie's point where he's looking at it like support your team, love your team. If you're going to be a fan, be a fan. That's what you're here to do. So I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, read some of these off for you. I should probably end up putting some of them on screen. Uh, then the most noteworthy ones so far that we've seen is interaction between TD Finn's talk, fan of the channel. If you're watching, what's up, TD? Uh, interaction between him and, and OJ, and uh, he said, well, "Why are you talking? Why are you in your feelings about how I feel about the team? As a fan, I have a right to vent and speak on a team I, I love and spend money on. However, I please. You're sitting here coming for me with your uh, coming with me because you disagree. I have a nerve to be disrespectful, telling me to shut up, and goes on. And then OJ responding with." Uh, so the fuck are we? Change teams if you're not tolerating it anymore. You think that the plan on coming up short. So just those two right there, right off the bat. And again, I understand the perspective from both of these two. You're looking at you know a fan, TD, just like we are here on Miami Dolphins Syndicate, who has been a fan of the team for a very long time, longer than we, me and Donovan, have been fans of the team, longer than we've been alive, I'm sure. And he's seen a lot of losing. He hasn't got to see a lot of good moments from the Dolphins. We really haven't got to see any, Donovan and I. But you're looking at, you know, you're supporting this team. Yes, you spend your money on them. You spend so much time and care for them. You do feel the right to be able to say how you feel about the team. And that's what we do here on, you know, on Miami Dolphins Syndicate. We tell you just straight up how we feel about the team. We talk to you guys about, you know, Tua, talk about other positions on the team, and just give you our honest opinion. And that's what we are allowed to do so as fans. We don't have to have unwavering loyalty and support to a team when we don't feel like the team is is being uh, earning of that with their play on the field. And for, for a long time, that's been the case. As, as a Miami Dolphins fan, uh, you know, an, another fan, you shouldn't talk to the fans this way. We all love football and the reason your profession exists. We worship you guys when we were kids and have memories of our families and you know, it goes on and so forth. And then... OJ responds with, I'm a fan too. I share this team more now than I was playing. You are no bigger of a fan than I am. I promise you all that. So please don't tell me how to talk. So he definitely feels very passionate about his his stance with the team, claiming that he's more of a fan today than he was when he was on the team. And first off, you know, I, I love to hear that from a team legend, especially when recently we haven't had a lot of legends added to the ranks he, he goes on to actually talk about zach thomas a little bit later on talking about how this should be a time that we're honoring and celebrating zach thomas as he was just inducted to the pro football hall of fame so we haven't had a lot of those guys come there's not been a lot of new guys to like the the, the ranks of dolphins legends oj mcduffie one of the og guys back in the day part of the you know winning his time some of the better times in dolphins history so hearing him support the team as he does is good to see but as fans we do have right to voice our displeasure it's twitter we're here on youtube this these spaces do sometimes end up being a place of negativity a place of complaint and it's very easy to get caught up in that and follow that momentum and feel more negative emotion about the team yourself and like i mentioned earlier i've found myself in those exact shoes where i'm just looking at the team i it's hard to find something positive. Even like last year when the team's you know going really well, going to like the Buffalo Bills game where everybody expected a loss, and you know we did lose, but in a much better nature than we expected. It was really hard to go into that game with any sort of passion and ex being excited for what was going to go on the field because you know, we didn't have a lot of belief. 
It's been hard for Dolphins fans to have belief for a very long time, and this is really the resurgence of getting some of that belief, where we can see ourselves, you know, potentially winning the division. And if you win the division, you have a pretty good chance of winning a playoff game, and you know, hopefully, just ravels on from there. I've had a lot of sad and down moments as a Dolphins fan, as I'm sure most of you guys here watching have. So, I I understand the fans' perspective. I understand TD's perspective of like, look. I've spent so much money on this team. I've spent so much time and effort rooting for this team. It's my, it's just as much my right to complain about this team as it is anybody else's. 100% get that. And then I also understand OJ's perspective where he's like, look, if this is your team, support your team. Love your team. Be positive. Be Especially in a time right now where we're about to go into the season where you know you want to have as much positive vibes around the around the team, good thoughts, good feelings going in because... You know, the team feels that. The team feels the atmosphere of the fans. Of the fans, you know, when, when, when the rock is filled out and packed, you can see the impact on the team versus when, you know, it's it's not quite at full capacity, the energy is a little bit lower, the team energy ends up being a little bit lower. It's a yin and yang where, you know, the team plays well, the fans react well, but also the fans react well and then the team plays well. It's it's, it's a beautiful chemistry that you, you see play out on the field every single Sunday. As to where I kind of stand with this, I do I do tend to lean a little bit more towards the fans' perspective on this because, like T said, we spend our money, we spend our time, we love this we love this team. We have to go through a grueling working week, which I don't think is something that was even mentioned. But we have to go, you know, most most of us have to work like forty hour jobs, you know, come home and we, we spend and choose our time away from work, away from the the hardships of life, how we choose to do so and most of us here watching, me included, Don included, we, we choose to spend a lot of our time rooting for the Dolphins, watching football in general, and it's been really hard to do that in, in, in times recently. So I really get the frustration by fans, but I do have a lot of hope that this is something that is going to change in these this year and the, come, in the years to come, where we can start to have more of a positive belief in the team now that we finally see the results swinging the way that we want to. Just got back to the playoffs. Nearly beat the Bills without Tua in Buffalo. I believe in Mike McDaniel. I believe in the team. It's not perfect. Seeing Jalen Ramsey go down was obviously a big detriment to a lot of fans' hopes. Like when, when we came out with that video, uh, the day that he went down, you know, I, we saw a lot of comments saying, you know, it's been fun while it lasted. Season over. Yada yada yada. And I think that's where we are as Dolphins fans, conditioned to be be so negative, be so cynical about the team, just because we've been. So used to year, years and years of losing, years and years of being disappointed. So it makes it makes a lot of sense where that is where our mind goes. And I'm really hoping that the positive momentum we saw last year shifts over to this year, and then we can only go to build up from there. Uh, let me know what do you think. Whose side are you on? Are you on the fans? Are you on TD side, or are you on OJ McDuffie's side? Or you know, kind of, I guess, kind of like myself, somewhere in the middle. If I had to side one way or another, as a fan myself, I will side with the fans as you know we have had to deal with so much negativity and twitter is just a space that we get to voice that but again let me know your thoughts i don't think either side is too much particularly in the wrong but let me know what you think down below in the comments if you haven't done so already make sure to like subscribe thank you all very much for watching have a great rest of your day take care everybody